Hi, I am Megan Lawrence. I teach Spanish at Baxter. Hi, I'm Jordan Garrett, and I teach French at Baxter. And Hi. we just wanted to talk to you a little bit about how we approach language teaching at this school. Students um, come to Baxter and take either French, Mandarin, or Spanish. And our classroom is set up to deliver language with a comprehensible input method. So this slide shows us a little bit what the comprehensible input method um, does. And effectively, the focus in our classroom is on um, comprehensible communication. So we begin by talking to our students in language, in the language, in the target language. And the focus is on conveying meaning without resorting to using English. We do that through a lot of body language. We do that through um, illustrations, gestures, um, examples. And over time, students become more and more comfortable uh, responding and producing their own language um, in, to communicate. And so if you think of the comprehensible input, this metaphor of watering a plant, so the students hear more and more input and their ability to express themselves and understand the language that they're studying grows like this little plant. Um, this is a, a hypothesis that you can read if you want, but that this, this hypothesis about language um, acquisition is the basis for what we do. And here, these are some example activities of what we use to implement comprehensible input. And now we did a demonstration of movie talk, which is one of the techniques that we use. So we'll show you that with um, a guest student as well. Cet animal est un gnu. Et classe, il y a combien de gnu? Un ou deux? Deux. 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 Et les deux genoux regardent un objet. Le premier genou dit crocodile. Et le deuxième genou dit non, c'est une bûche. So, as you probably both know, le premier means the first. The deuxième means the second. Um, okay. Le premier dit crocodile. Le deuxième dit une bûche. So what does crocodile mean? Crocodile. A crocodile. And what is une bûche? A log. A log. Great. Donc, qui dit une bûche? Le premier ou le deuxième? Le deuxième. Le deuxième dit une bûche. Oui. Oh boy. Et qu'est-ce que le premier que nous dit? Un crocodile. Oui, le premier que nous dit un crocodile. Et 
il jette une pierre. So what does he do in English? Throws a rock. Throws a rock. Et qui jette la pierre? Le premier que nous ou le deuxième que nous? Le premier que nous. Excellent! Um, My name's Emily McCool. I'm a junior at Baxter and I took two years of Jordan's classes. His class was very focused on the acquisition of language and that's a really non-linear process and he'll tell you a hundred times about how non-linear it is and the importance of being understood uh, in your language rather than getting every detail of the grammar or the conjugation correct. It's really about being understood as a student and learning and enjoying French. 